Hello children, I am Yamat Khan. Once again, is in front of you with a new video. This time, the video is related to Class 9 Science NCRT book, Chapter Cell Fundamental Units of Life. In the last session, we have discussed about cell structure and functions. We have also discussed about the parts of the cell and we have discussed about the similarities and differences between plant cell and animal cell. You can view my this video, link is given in the description. Today we are going to discuss about cell organelles. So let's start the topic cell organelles. So children, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Also don't forget to click the bell icon. Now cell organelles. Every cell has a membrane around it to keep its own content separate from the external environment. Large and complex cells including cells from multicellular organisms need a lot of chemical activities to support their complicated structure and functions. To keep these activities of different kinds separate from each other, these cells use membrane bound little structure or you can say organelles within themselves. This is one of the features of the eukaryotic cells that distinguish them from prokaryotic cells. Some of these organelles are visible only with an electron microscope. So today we will discuss about these organelles only. So children, let's discuss about endoplasmic reticulum. Now what is endoplasmic reticulum? Endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane bound tubes and sheets. It looks like long tubules or round or oblong bags that is known as vesicles. The endoplasmic reticulum is similar in structure to the plasma membrane. We have discussed in the last session about plasma membrane. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. One rough endoplasmic reticulum and other smooth endoplasmic reticulum. In short form you can say RER and ACR respectively. RER which is rough endoplasmic reticulum looks rough under a microscope because it is particles called ribosomes attached to its surface. The ribosomes which are present in all active cells are the sites of protein manufacture. The protein manufactured, uh, the manufactured proteins are then sent to the various places in the cell depending on need using the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, what are the functions of endoplasmic reticulum? Endoplasmic reticulum forms supporting skeletal framework of the cell. It also provides a pathway for the distribution of nuclear material from one cell to the other. Certain enzymes present in smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesize fats, steroids and cholesterol. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is concerned with the transport of proteins which are synthesized by ribosomes on their surface. Now let's talk about ribosomes. Ribosomes are dense, spherical and granular particles which occur freely in the matrix that is cytosol or remain attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Chemically, the major constituents of ribosomes are the ribonucleic acid that is RNA and proteins. Lipids are not present in ribosomes. Ribosomes are not bounded by a membrane. They are present both in prokaryotic and eukaryotic 
cells except mammalian RBC. Now, what is the function of ribosomes? Ribosomes play an important role in the synthesis of proteins. Now, let's move to the organelle Golgi apparatus, which is also known as Golgi body or Golgi complex. Golgi apparatus consists of a set of membrane bounded fluid filled vesicles, vacuoles, and flattened cisternae. Cisternae are usually stacked together in parallel rows. Golgi apparatus exists as an extensive network near the nucleus in the animal cells. However, the plant cells contain many freely distributed subunits of Golgi apparatus. These are known as dictyosomes. Now, one thing to be noted that Golgi apparatus is absent in bacteria, blue-green algae, etc. Golgi apparatus arises from the membrane of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which in turn originates from the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, what are the functions of Golgi apparatus? The main function of Golgi apparatus is secretory. Golgi apparatus acts as a waste station or assembly area for the storage, processing and packaging of various cellular secretions. It packages materials synthesized in the cell and dispatches them either to intracellular targets such as plasma or extracellular targets. Next, it produces vacuoles or secretory vesicles, which contain cellular secretions like enzymes, proteins, cellulose, melanin pigment, etc. And next function of Golgi apparatus is that it is also involved in the synthesis of cell wall, plasma membrane and lysosomes. Next is lysosomes. Lysosomes are simply tiny spherical set-like structures evenly distributed in the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm was what? It was a jelly-like substance. Each lysosome is a small vesicle surrounded by a single membrane and contains powerful enzymes. These enzymes are capable of digesting or breaking down all organic materials. Lysosomal enzymes are made by rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now, what are the functions of lysosomes? Lysosomes serve as intracellular digestive system and that is why it is called digestive bags. They destroy any foreign materials which enter the cell such as bacteria and virus. In this way, they protect the cells from bacterial infection. Second function of lysosome is that lysosome also remove the worn out and poorly working cellular organelles by digesting them to make way for their new replacements. In this way, they remove the cell debris and are also known as demolition squares, scavengers and cellular housekeepers. Thus, lysosomes form a kind of garbage disposal system of the cell. And the third function is that during breakdown of cell structure, when the cell gets damaged, lysosomes may burst and the enzymes eat up their own cells. Therefore, lysosomes are also known as suicide bags. Now, the important, one of the important cell organelles is mitochondria. Mitochondria are the tiny bodies of varying shapes. These are also known as powerhouse of the cell. Why? 
the energy required for various chemical activities needed for life is released by mitochondria in the form of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate molecules now ATP is known as the energy currency of the cell the body uses energy stored in ATP for making new chemical compounds and for mechanical work mitochondria have two membrane coverings instead of just one the outer membrane is very porous while the inner membrane is deeply folded these folded creates a large surface area for ATP generating chemical reactions mitochondria are strange organelles in the sense that they have their own DNA and ribosomes therefore mitochondria are able to make some of their own proteins now the next one is plastids plastids are present only in plant cells in animal cells you will not find plastids there are two types of plastids chromoplasts that is colored plastids and leucoplasts that is white or colorless plastids plastids containing the pigment chlorophyll are known as chloroplasts that means chlorophyll is having green pigment that is sorry chloroplast is having green pigment called chlorophyll chloroplasts are important for photosynthesis in plants you all know what is photosynthesis the process by which plants make their own food now chloroplasts also contain various yellow or orange pigments in addition to chlorophyll leucoplasts are primarily organelles in which materials such as starch oils and proteins protein granules are stored the internal organization of the plastids consists of numerous membrane layers embedded in a material called the stroma plastids are similar to mitochondria in external structure like the mitochondria plastids also have their own dna and ribosomes there is one more organelles that is vacuoles vacuoles are fluid filled or solid filled and membrane bounded species they are a kind of storage sacs in animal cells the vacuoles if present are small and temporary they store water glycogen and proteins the vacuolar membrane is typically a single unit membrane and is often associated with the maintenance of water balance or ingestion of nutrient material thus food vacuole of a single celled organisms such as amoeba or paramecium contains the food item that the animal has consumed in plant cells the vacuoles are large distinct and permanent in mature plant cells the vacuole occupies almost the entire volume of the cell that is 90% volume of the cell because of the central position of a vacuole the nucleus and other cell organelles in plant cells are pushed near the boundary wall the vacuole is bounded by a membrane called tonoplast the vacuole is filled with cell sap which is a watery solution rich in sugars amino acids proteins minerals and metabolic wastes now what are the functions of vacuoles vacuoles help to maintain the osmotic pressure in a cell they store toxic metabolic by products or end products of the cells they also provide turgidity and rigidity to the plant cells so children with this i am ending this session don't forget to watch my previous video on cell structure and function the link of which 
is given in the description and also like share and subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to press the bell icon so children thank you for your views comments and liking my video thank you